Louisville and NC State. Now, next up, we've got NC State six and a half, seven point home favorites, uh, 58 and a half being the uh, total uh, in this game. Uh, very, very disappointing for uh, <laughs> NC State on uh, Saturday against uh, Miami. Uh, but sometimes you get that from NC State. We start to get excited. Things are going well. They beat down Boston College, which actually isn't a win that looks as impressive after what I saw from BC uh, against Louisville uh, on Saturday. But uh, NC State losing 31-30 to Miami, a Miami team that was really going through some problems before that game. It's disappointing for sure. A big setback in the ACC divisional race here if you're NC State. Now they're going to have to try to bounce back here from that uh, against Louisville. And you start to look at Louisville. Again, there's questions about who have they played so far. I mean, they played UCF was probably the best opponent at Wake as well. And actually, Wake is a very good opponent. Uh, and they uh, lost that game by three. They lost by one to Virginia. And they beat Boston College 28-14 on Saturday. Uh, Mikhail Cunningham, uh, Malik Cunningham now, he's back to Malik Cunningham, um, is playing well. But it was more about the run game uh, for Louisville uh, on the weekend. Uh, he ran the football extremely well. 133 rushing yards for Cunningham, combined with uh, Travion Cooley as well, chipping in 112 rushing yards. They absolutely Run ran amok against Boston College's defense. I was stunned by that because Jeff Halfley, you expect better from that because Boston College's defense under Halfley has been solid, but they just were ripped apart by the ground game, by the rushing attack of Louisville uh, in that game. And the one thing that's going to be difficult here for Louisville is getting the run game going. They run the ball a whole hell of a lot more than they throw it. And NC State's only allowing 193 rushing yards per game, 3.2 yards per carry. This is difficult for me, Connor. The spot says NC State. The matchup says NC State. Bounce back. They stop the run. If Louisville can't run, they can't score. I, I actually kind of believe that. But at the same point in time, you got to lay seven. And Louisville's yeah. had a knack of hanging around and hanging around in games lately and being right there at the end. So I think from a matchup and spot perspective, it's NC State. But I think from a point spread value standpoint, it's Louisville. So I'm kind of torn. At this point, I've got... No action on the game, and I might not have any when uh, this game starts. What do you think, Connor? I don't either. I think the value's with Louisville as well. Not only all the game, the games lately they've lost really tight by one. They lost by three to Wake, two games they could have won, and then tight ones even when they won. Last week was decent, 28-14. But North NC State's back at home, and it's like you said, it's NC spot. They're really good at home. That's why I stayed off them. I wanted to play NC State against Miami, and something just told me don't do it on the road. Don't play them, and they ended up losing, so I'm glad I stayed off. It's there. Yeah, this one's tough for me. I, I'd lean the points, Louisville, um, and I might not play this one. So, yeah, I'm with you. This is just kind of a pass for me right now. I have not. He's been better throwing the ball, Cunningham, a little bit, but he's not at the point now where if you can't run the football, he can carry it for you offensively through the air throwing the football and that's yeah. my concern here because nc state's no joke with their run defense and you know if they have issues especially at home and, and where they play where they have the win against clemson they played their best ball at home so fascinating game we'll see how it unfolds